So let's have a little chat about money. How to make money as an artist. <laughs> so I was watching a YouTube video recently. It was an interview with a creator. The question that the interviewer asked the creator was, if you could only make one more video before you die, what would it be about? And I thought that was such an interesting question because I mean, I make a lot of art videos, I make tutorials and um, product reviews, and ultimately they kind of help people, but it's not the kind of content that is life-changing, that, you know, it's, it's the thing you want to be remembered for forever or whatever. And so I had thought about that and I realized that I would love to make more videos that would help artists make money because for me, it's been the most amazing, impactful thing in my life and empowering to be able to make art and do what I love and also support myself with it. So today I wanna to talk about five ways you can make money as an artist. And this is just gonna be a brief overview. It's five ways that I myself make money with art. There are lots of other ways too, but these five in particular, I feel like you could just start tomorrow if you wanted. And of course, there's always going to be some work involved. It does take effort, but if you can do what you love and make money at it too, I think that's the best case scenario. You're making an impact. You're, you're doing something you're passionate about. You're showing a good example to your kids. If you have kids of how to follow your passions and not settle because we have one wild life, right? Now, before we go into these five things, if you have some limiting beliefs about money, which I definitely did early on, then I have a book recommendation. Go read or listen to the audiobook of Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass at Making Money. <laughs> it's like, I know, it's a funny title, but it, this book changed my life. It changed my mindset about money in general because let's be honest, I really thought there was a ceiling for my life and how much money I could make as a person. Maybe it was because I studied music and art and I was always told that those topics of study are just never gonna make you money. You'll kind of be a starving artist. And I think one of the reasons my dad let me study those in college was because he was like, well, you're gonna marry an engineer or a doctor or something and he'll take care of you. <laughs> Which thankfully I did marry a good man who was an engineer, <laughs> is an engineer, and he helps me with my business. But I don't think you should ever approach your life with this assumption that someone's gonna take care of you. So that said, I did have some limiting beliefs about money. I definitely thought, oh, I'll never be able to make more than this amount. And reading that book really changed my life and helped get me started on this trajectory of having my own business and being able to provide for my family through my art. You can do this. You can make money with your art. It is absolutely possible. The only limitation is your own beliefs about yourself. So have courage and take action. Okay, Cody's outside, <laughs> we can talk now. The first way I made money as an artist when I was first starting out was with commissions. So probably if you've been painting for a little while, you've already had a few people ask you, hey, do you do, you do that for a living? Do you, can, can I commission you to paint something for me? Can you paint my kid? Can you paint my, my pet? And I'm sure the first question that pops in your head is, well, what do I charge for that? So here's my advice about charging for commissions. I would say don't charge more than your level. You know, if you've only been painting for a little while, you should charge less just because you don't have as much experience. But also don't charge so little that you complete this transaction feeling bitter about it. <laughs> There's been plenty of times where I just you know, a friend asked me to paint something and I did not charge nearly as much as I should have and it ended up taking me so long and I had to do several redos and it was, you know, a big painting. And I ended up feeling like, wow, that was just not worth my time for the amount of money I made. So whatever you charge, make sure it satisfies you as the artist, but is also within kind of the limitations of market prices. So I would look around on Etsy or on other selling sites where you have artists selling commissioned products. Although on Etsy, they do tend to undercharge too, in my opinion. And just take stock of your own abilities and own it too. If you're like, yeah, that's actually, I can do a really good job with this. You know, charge what you think you're worth. And if someone likes your art, they will pay it. Don't feel afraid of losing a commission just because maybe your prices are a little high for someone. If someone likes your work, they will pay you for it. The second way you can make money as an artist, and this is my favorite way, is through digital products. Taking your artwork and turning it into a digital product 
opens up limitless possibilities for ways to make money as an artist because you can produce that art over and over and over again in hundreds of different ways. My favorite way to make money as a digital artist is through the Etsy platform. And I plan on talking more about that on my channel too. I love to make nursery art, so I'll do it in all different sizes and I have different sets. Some of my best sellers have been puppies and horses. <laughs> Those do really well, um, especially for themed rooms, for nurseries or for kids' rooms. So that's something to look into if you really like painting, be fun, whimsical things. I want to encourage you that there is a style for everyone. Maybe you think, oh, I don't, I don't know if anybody's going to like my art. You won't know unless you put it out there. So put it out there, test the waters, find a niche that works for you, and just make more art in that niche. To create digital products, you do need some computer skills. You need to be able to take your artwork and digitize it by turning it into a JPEG or a PNG file, something that you can adjust the size on it. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can take the background out. And so there are lots of computer programs that do that. There's Canva, which is amazing. It's a free program. You can also pay for Canva Pro, which it has the background remover in it and all kinds of fun tools to play with. I use Photoshop almost exclusively for all my touch-ups and it's just an amazing program. Take the time to learn and invest in yourself by learning a computer program that will help you digitize and clean up your art so that you can sell it online. We live in this amazing world where we have YouTube, we have Udemy, we have Skillshare, we have all of these programs online that can teach us virtually anything we want to know without a college education. So that should be so encouraging to you. Whatever your age is, whether you're young or old, you can learn these skills. The third way to make money as an artist is through licensing. So this is already assuming you have some artwork that's digitized. The first website I used for licensing was called Fine Art America. It's huge. There's hundreds of thousands of artists on there. And it's also a great way to just kind of create a gallery for your art so you can see all the art that you've been making throughout the years. What Fine Art America does is they actually will take your artwork and do all of the printing and shipping for you. All you have to do is upload your art give it the specifications for what you wanna sell and how much you wanna make on each print, and they do the rest. So that can help it bring in a little bit of extra passive income each month. I would say if you decide to do something like that, just be consistent about adding more artwork and just staying engaged in the platform. There are also other sites like iCanvas and Displate and many others that will sell your art for you and do all the work of printing and shipping. Jenna Rainey has a great course on licensing. I haven't taken it yet, but I plan to because I wanna learn more about it myself, but it's an amazing whole world to get into. If you already have existing artwork, why not start licensing it and selling it right now? The fourth way to make money as an artist is through tutorials. Creating tutorials and teaching art has been the most amazing thing in my life. I've created an entire online school called Watercolor Mastery. When I first started teaching art, I definitely had a complex about it. I had imposter syndrome. I thought, how can someone like me who's only been doing art for a couple of years have the gumption to teach it online? But here's the thing, friends, you only have to be a couple of steps ahead of the person that you're teaching and just continue to challenge yourself to learn more things and to grow yourself as an artist to be able to teach those things to someone else. Set aside all of that imposter syndrome and just start, just go for it. If you're not comfortable with creating a YouTube channel or some sort of online presence, there is always a need for community teachers at local community centers, whether that's teaching kids or older folks. Teaching art will always be a skill set that is desired. So if you have that skill set, if you like to teach, and if you feel like you've learned enough about art now that you can start to share it with other people, why not start teaching? This is something you could do this week. And if you wanna start a YouTube channel, which I highly encourage artists to do, all you need is a smartphone and a little tripod. When I first started with YouTube, all I had was a tiny little tripod and I just put it on time-lapse and I made speed paint videos. I would have it set up over the top of my artwork and I would just hit record. And there you have it, this a really fast 30 second demonstration of your painting from start to finish. And those are just so fun to watch. I posted one on Pinterest. It was of this little bear and it got over 200,000 reshares. And so I thought, wow, there is something to this. People want to learn how to paint. And so video is just the way to go. And it's something you could start today. So why not? jump in, start making tutorial videos. You might think, oh, there's so many people already doing that. But remember, there's only one you. 
and you will always be able to connect with someone that I can't. There's an audience for everyone. So show your beautiful face on video or don't. Just show your beautiful art on video. Share it with the world. It does take some bravery and courage, but again, how will you know unless you try, unless you start? And then the fifth way that I wanna share with you today for making money as an artist is through call for entries. There's a website called Cafe, Calling Artists for Entry, and it has all of the different art competitions all throughout the country. I think there's even international ones on there that you can enter. So if you have some paintings that you feel especially proud of, or if it's something that you want to try to get into, this website will keep you up to date on all the latest competitions and art contests. And this isn't necessarily going to be a way you can make money right away, but if you start challenging yourself to enter these contests and to put your artwork out there. That's also gonna help you gain exposure. It's gonna help you gain confidence as an artist. It's gonna give you something to constantly strive for and try to improve your skills with. Also, something I recently was turned on to with Cafe and Call for Entry for Artists was public art. There is a high demand for creating things like murals or sculptures or just art in a local city. And because it's kind of a high barrier to entry, like a lot of people don't even realize that it's on the map, not too many people apply to these calls. And so you have a much greater chance of being asked to be the artist for these and you get paid really well for these kind of public projects for cities. So that's something else to consider. As a final bonus tip, I wanna encourage you to just document your process. Just hit that record button or the time lapse on your phone when you start to sit down and paint. As you start to document your process and record video footage of what you're doing, it's gonna be something you can start to share a little bit at a time with the world because whether we like it or not, making money as artists does require putting ourselves out there, showing the world our art, and getting involved with social media. And I know that's like a turnoff for a lot of you, and it's not absolutely necessary, but it helps so much. So if you start to record your art and put it out there on social media, whether that's Pinterest or Facebook or Instagram, whatever your choice is, I love YouTube the most. That's gonna help you so much with just garnering attention for your art, gaining an audience, gaining trust with an audience, and selling more art. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. I'm just sitting in my living room. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this one, and I would be happy to do that because ultimately my greatest goal is to be able to help other people and especially help other artists because we tend to just put ourselves in boxes and think, I'll never be able to make money. I want you to know that as an artist, yes, you can absolutely make money. So don't be afraid, put your work out there, just go for it. Let me know if you wanna see more videos, more specifically about any of these topics or other topics that I haven't touched on, and I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Five ways to make, <laughs> stop. <laughs> see him on the floor, so now he's going crazy. I'm never sitting on the floor with you, am I? You just think I'm another puppy to play with. <laughs> really. <laughs> it's, it's so worth it if you can do what you're passionate about and what you love to do and make money at it. Doorbell. Come back. Stop, you're budding. Ouch. <laughs> Go put the shark away. <laughs>